In this video, we'll review how to use the template builder to make changes to existing templates or build entirely new templates and streamline your documentation. To start, in the settings menu, select documentation and then template library. To learn more about the template library, watch the video linked in the corner. Simple Practice offers templates for several types of documentation. For example, you can create templates for intake forms and questionnaires, or other situations where you'd like to collect responses from a client. And to simplify your documentation after a session, you can create templates for progress notes, treatment plans, and other documents. To edit one of these templates, click the name to open it in the template builder. Or you can start from scratch by clicking Build New Template. Let's do a quick tour of the template builder. In the header bar, you can change the main title, add a different title that is displayed to clients, and change the template type. In the upper right, you can save your changes and then preview the template. On the left, the block menu has a variety of content blocks, which require input, and format blocks, which add style to the template. You can click to add them or drag and drop to add them exactly where you want them. To edit a block, click on it. Each type of content block gives you different ways to present a prompt or question and provide options or suggested responses that the person completing the form can use. Let's add some as an example. As you add more, these option fields can be reorganized. If you decide to present these in a different way, click the drop down to change the content block type, or click the trash can to delete this block. After creating a block, you can also duplicate it if you want to offer several question prompts with these same response fields. To require the question or prompt to be completed, click the toggle on. After editing a block, click outside of it to view it. To reorganize the blocks themselves, click the six dots, then drag and drop. Now that we've made some changes, let's click save and then preview the template again. If you have any questions, please reach out to our customer success team or attend one of our daily live Q&A sessions. Click the link at the end of this video to view the schedule.